Hello guys, this is Sayyid Muhammad Wakas. I'm here with uh, another video. In this video, I will tell you guys how you can calculate the heat load. So here I have uh, uh, drawing open. Uh, in this video, I will tell you how you can calculate heat load for master bedroom. In the same way, you can calculate heat load for store, uh, living room, and kitchen area. So before starting the heat load, you must uh, know the local codes followed by that region. For example, I am going to work in UAE. So I must know the U values and uh, local codes followed by that region. So as you can see, there's a window schedule is also there. That is uh, window 1. It's over here, window 1 and window 1. And you have window 2 schedule used over here, here, here and uh, here window 2 so and the u values are also given over here u value for the wall is 0 0.05 for roof is 0 0.045 for floor is 0 0.1 for glass 0 0.30 and shading coefficient for the glass is 0 0.29 and the u value for the partition wall is 0 0.5 and the average ceiling height in this area is 12.5 feet so let me show you the u value which are going to use in UAE Dubai so open this comb factor and uh, move down over here as you can see for the warehouse structure non conditioned space external wall you will use is this and roof is this for conditioned space you will use this, roof this and floor this and for the office structure and residential area what is the external wall u value that is 0 0.05 and for the roof 0 0.045 and the for the floor 0 0.1 and for the glass fenestration u value is 0 0.30 and the shading coefficient maximum is 0 0.29 as you can see this is the same values which i am using right now because uh, uh, the area or the region in which i am working right now is dubai so these are the local codes which I need to follow in order to calculate the heat load for the particular area. So let's start uh, this heat load calculation for the master bedroom in the HAP software. So let me open this HAP for you. So new inflation standard 2010, energy 2010. Okay. So first of all we have to give some input, we have to give uh, wall U values, roof U values and window U values. So let's go to wall U values, default new wall. Here in uh, app you will not find, uh, you cannot give direct U values for the wall. So in order to give the U value for the wall as you can see over here is, that is 0 0.05, I need to give over here. So let me make uh, this 0 0.05 by selecting different layers. So if I will go over here, default wall assembly, and uh, let me select uh, face width of 14, board insulation plus uh, 8 inch high weight concrete block. Okay, now if you will play with these layers, you, you as you can see, you value 0 0.056. So I am here to 0 0.05. So let me change this uh, layers in order to make it 0 0.05. So if I will move it. Okay, now 0 0.053 will more nearer. So let me move this one also. Eight. Like with concrete 0 0.051, okay. R14 board insulation, okay. And 4 inch face brick will change this to common brick. As you can see, overall U value is 0 0.05. So, this value we can use to calculate the heat load. We, uh, so, we just select okay over here. And then now we'll move to uh, roof. Same thing we'll do over here. As you cannot, uh, what is the U value over here for the roof? that is 0 0.045 so we have to make this value as 0 0.045 let me change this one to fall shingle plus plywood 
R22 bat okay as you can see 0 0.040 we have to make it 0 0.045 so see by plywood if I will select uh, see by each plywood okay and R19 that insulation is very near to 0 0.045 then airspace then half inch plywood or half inch plaster 0.045 so we got our value 0.045 so we can use this u value of the roof in our heat load calculation that's ok now go to window view window give it a name like uh, window 1 and give it height and the width as if we move to our drawing and from the window schedule 5 feet by 3 feet 5 feet is the height, 3 feet is the width, so we can use over here 5 by 3. As you can see, here we have window 1 in the master bedroom, both sides, window 1, window 1. So we have to use this uh, dimension of the window that is 5 feet by 3 feet. 5 feet is the height and uh, 3 feet is the width, it's already there, no need to change. And uh, over here you will find U value for the glass is 0 0.30 and shading coefficient for the glass is 0.29 we can use these values 0 0.30 U value and uh, 0.29 shading coefficient so select ok then we have to move to the space default new space but before that we have to select this region in which we are working right now this is very important so just select this one and change the region which you are working right now for example the region which I am working right now it's uh, Middle East and the location it's uh, United Arab Emirates and city is Dubai so all of the values are here latitude, longitude, elevation, summer travel and daily range everything is there and uh, just select ok and then move to spaces from the space like default new space what is the name of that area you can do over here it's a master bedroom what is the a floor area as you can see over here it's 18 by 20 feet so how much is the area 18 by 20 you will get 360 square feet area 360 square feet area and average ceiling height as already told you 12.5 feet and building weight is uh, medium and medium weight is 80 lb per square feet what is the usage of that space this is for ventilation purpose so if i'll move down i need to select this uh, bedroom you can see hotel bedroom and living room you can select this one so cfm per person is 5 and cfm per square feet is 0.06 then move to next tab internal here you find uh, light fixtures that is recessed unvented uh, as per general rule if you don't have any data from uh, electrical dry first it's better you will get data from uh, electrical engineer so you can use uh, that wattage over here if you don't know then you can use uh, by default 1 watt per square feet this is a general rule over blast multiplier you have to use that is 1.07 and then you have to give a schedule over here just give it a name that is light select ok then move down task lightning no need then electrical equipment if you can get this electrical equipment bought from the electrical data that's better if not then you have to use your uh, general uh, rule or predefined rule that is 8 watt per square feet needed if you don't know so let me use it's a bedroom it's not too much so we can use uh, 200 watts that would be enough for the bedroom it's okay so how many people occupied in this room two people so we can give over here it's uh, activity level is seated at rest and then over here you also give schedule that is like 
so here also you have to give a schedule name of electrical equipment for example it's this one so occupancy of the people there's two people in the bedroom okay what's the activity level they are uh, seated at rest okay then same way you have to select a schedule for this one uh, people okay then move to uh, walls windows and doors if we will move back to our drawing area you will see this wall we should know the orientation of the building so this uh, wall that is facing north side and this wall that is facing west side and this wall what's the dimension it's 18 foot so and we know the ceiling height is 12.5 so what's the gross wall area is 225 feet square feet and uh, how how many windows over here only one window that is window one so 225 square feet is the wall gross area facing north side so move back to half north exposure and 225 is the wall gross area and window quantity is the uh, window one quantity is one and uh, if you will move back over there and you will see another wall that is exposed to sun and its dimension is 20 feet is the length so 20 feet multiplied 12.5 is the ceiling height we've got 250 square feet is the gross area of that wall and it's facing west side you see over here west side and only one window over here so move back to half give this uh, as a west side exposure and 250 square feet is the gross area and window quantity in window 1 is 1 window 1 is already selected here so go back to roof its exposure is horizontal and gross area is the same as the floor area then infiltration no need for this one residential ok and go to floor if you will go to floor as you there are four types over there floor above condition unconditioned slab floor on grade slab floor below grade in this example we have this on the ground floor so we have this floor above unconditioned space if it's on the first floor our ground floor is conditioned then we have to select this floor above conditioned space as we on the ground floor and it's a floor above unconditioned so we have to select this one floor area is the same u value we already see over here that's floor u value is 0.1 it's already there so unconditioned space maximum temperature ambient at space maximum as you know ambient at space maximum we are working in dubai so ambient at dubai is 107 and this unconditioned space maximum will be 5 degree less than ambient space so 107 minus 1 uh, minus 5 degree you will get 102 and the uh, unconditioned space minimum is 53.6 here in dubai so 53.6 so now move back to our partition so we have wall partition over here let me see yes we have wall partition over here as you can see master bedroom is our conditioned space this master bath is non conditioned space so whenever you have a conditioned space and non conditioned space adjacent together that wall will be your partition wall so this is your partition wall and what's the length of that partition wall is that is 12 feet 6 feet wide and 12 feet is the length so 12 feet is the length of that wall multiply ceiling height is 12.5 so 12 multiply 12.5 ceiling height we got 150 square feet is the cross wall area so go over here select wall partition 150 square feet u value for the partition we already know that it's a 0.5 value 0.5 feet ok we select over here and same ambient at space maximum is 107 in Dubai and uh, this will be 5 degree less than the ambient that is 5 under 2.0 and this is 53.6 and uh, 53.6 so everything is done so just select ok then move to system and go to uh, over here new default system so give this system your name this is uh, master bedroom AC1 ok equipment type or oh, if we are going to use split air handling unit over here ok split air handling unit and uh, system air type it's a single zone so we have constant air volume single zone and move to ventilation everything 
just as selected constant uh, airflow and ventilation sizing method is sum of space outdoor air flows and unoccupied damper position is closed okay then move to central cooling supply temperature want 55 degrees and bypass factor normally we are getting from supplier and uh, it's normally 0.12 so we just like 0.12 and if we move back to heating we don't need heating in this one so we just uncheck it and we move to duct system ok then move to bone components bone components you just need to select this space and then add into your zone like this then move back to your uh, thermostats it's ok everything yeah throttling then move to supply terminals ok and go to your sizing data one thing more over here in system uh, zone components thermostats you have to give a schedule name over here for thermostat like uh, any name whatever you want you can give it thermostat ok then go to sizing data sizing data you will find uh, cooling uh, we have to give some safety factor over here for sensible we will give uh, 15% and for latent we will give 5% the reason why I am giving 15% for sensible is 10% due to the motor heat of that equipment and 5% uh, due to the safety for sensible and 5% here for the latent is the safety factor we need to add over here so just like ok over here now if I will go over here master bedroom right click and uh, print view design result it will give me the load calculations so just click it and uh, whatever you want in your uh, report you can add it so what I need over here is uh, uh, psychometric uh, system properties ok system load calculation ok let me select this one for you and uh, space load is also you want to select over here or if you want orly air system load you can get it over here from January to December same you can get the graph over here then select preview in order to get the result so it will generate the report for you just wait a bit it will generate the report so so as you can see app has generated the report as you can see location is Dubai United Emirates and uh, floor area 360 square feet the password bedroom calculation from uh, January to December you can see total coil load is 0.9 tons and sensible heat load is 10 mbh and uh, coil CFM is 427 so well, we got everything over here we got the CFM we got tonnage we got mbh so and you can see that load occurs at July 15 so July 3 pm we got a maximum load and uh, over here you see relative humidity is 47% and uh, bypass factor we already gave coil ADP is 53.8 degree for night this is operator's skew point and outdoor ventilation required for that room is 32 CFM so this is how you can generate report in the app here you can see it is a design cooling and all of the uh, load is calculated over here for the windows roof wall partition ceiling separately and then calculated over here total so this is how you can calculate the heat load in the app software in my next video I will tell you guys the same heat load calculation but by using E20 form E20 form and then we will compare the result of E20 form and the half. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Please like, comment, share and don't forget to subscribe my channel.